The Perfect Pass is a simple passing and catching game setup and it's great for all grades at school. It can be easily adapted to practice a variety of different sports skills and it's great for developing accuracy, direction, power and control using the correct technique. Let's check it out. So you are going to need four to five markers. That's a marker for each team. You're going to need 12 or more hoops. You can use spot markers if you don't have hoops. That's fine as well. And you also need the same sports equipment for each team. Now today we're going to be using American footballs and throwing, but depending on what sport you do, each team needs that particular ball. So to set up, you're going to put out the markers at one end of the area. That's one for each team. And you're going to divide the class into equal teams and have each team line up behind the cone with a ball. So there we go, each team has one ball. And then out in the rest of the playing area, you're going to put out all those different hoops or spot markers. So spread them out all around the rest of the playing area. So to play this game, first up, the first player in each team needs to go and stand at any hoop out in the playing area. They are the catchers. Then the next player in line is the thrower. They pick up the ball, ready to throw the ball. And now when the teacher shouts go, the throwers have to try and perform the perfect pass by throwing the ball to their teammate, their catcher in the hoop. So you can see those first two people missed. Here's the orange team. He throws a perfect pass. The catcher catches it. If your teammate catches it, that means the catcher can then take that hoop, bring the ball back, back to their line, and then the next thrower is ready to move out. So basically teams keep working as fast as they can until the time is up and all the hoops have been collected. So once the hoops have all been collected, the team with the most hoops at the end obviously wins that round. Now if a thrower doesn't throw it accurately to their catcher, they've got to retrieve the ball, bring it back to the next player in the line to try again. So that same catcher has to basically stay there until they get a catch from their teammate. Now as the ball is thrown, catchers are allowed to take a step out of the hoop. But they gotta make sure that they keep one foot in in order to make that catch. You can adapt this game to make it more exciting by changing the value of the hoops depending on the color. So for example, green hoops that are closer might be worth only one point, orange hoops two points, red hoops five points, and yellow hoops furthest away could be worth 10 points. You can change it however you like. As I mentioned at the start, you can easily change this game to different sports skills. So instead of throwing an American football, maybe each team has a soccer ball and they have to punt kick the ball for their partners to catch it in the hoop or each team has a tennis racket and ball and they have to bounce and strike the ball with a forehand swing, hitting it to their teammate who's holding a tall cone. They have to try and catch the ball in the tall cone whilst in the hoop, that's a fun skill to practice. Or maybe you'd like to practice your volleyball skills, do some underarm serving. Students have to underarm serve the ball to get it to their teammate in the hoop. Whatever sports equipment you have, Whatever sports skills you want to practice, you can easily change it to suit this game. You can really use this game to encourage the correct technical points when doing different skills. So for example, it might be swinging through to your target if you're practicing some kicking. Maybe it's keeping your eyes on the ball as you strike the ball. That could be for many different sports and also get the students to really think about the power that they're using. Get them to adjust their body with the right technique for power and direction, hitting it to their target. And also use it as a chance for working on catching. So having your hands out ready behind the ball, ready to catch that ball. Hopefully you and your class enjoyed this game today. And if you as a teacher need more ideas, check out my resources, my lesson units and plans and resources downloadable in the links below.